can y'all feel that? Can you feel what's about to happen on this field, man? Can you feel what we're about to get into? Hey, Nicole. believe that he was on track to becoming one of the best running backs in the NFL, but the injury bug bit him again. He just can't stay healthy, and that's part of being a great running back. Availability is the best av ability, and he just ha he's just never available. He's always nicked up with something, and I hope he comes back strong, but I think my prediction is now dead, and it sucks. To quote our boy Ryan Lentz in the back, he's not injury prone. He just gets hurt a lot. Yeah. No. Oh my god. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Rivals.com at the Rivals Camp Series with DeAndre Swift, who was an outstanding participant last year, one of the best running backs in the country, and took back-to-back -back visits to Georgia, which has all the Georgia fans very excited. Okay, he visited there two in a row. His family went. He loved it. They got to be his leader. Do you hear that a lot? Yeah, I, I hear that a lot, but I wouldn't say I have a leader. I wouldn't say I would put one another college or another right now. All right, if you had to name a top three right now, who would it be? I had to say Florida State, Georgia, uh, and Clemson. Is that in order? No, not at all. DeAndre Swift. Thanks very much. You got that Philly mindset, that grit. Um, so that's why I played the game the way I play it. Um, never backing down from a challenge, you know, going at anything or anybody. Um, 
stuff like that. And um, I think the way I am today, Philly made me that way. So love my city. Growing up in Philadelphia, how do you think that prepares you for the NFL? I think it prepares you for anything. Um, no matter if you're playing football or not, if you make out of Philly, and you're on the path to doing something successful. I um, feel like you can do whatever you can. Because uh, it's a hard place to get out of Philly. So you'd be one of the few ones to make it out. Definitely on the right path. What was the meeting like with the Philadelphia Eagles? Uh, same with every other meeting. Um, they kind of keep the same criteria. Actually, just standard questions first, just get to know you, and then they might talk ball with you. It's, it wasn't nothing out of the ordinary. What can you tell them what kind of person you are, what kind of athlete, what kind of running back you are? Self-motivated young man, somebody who's going to come to work every day, determined, focused, um, great leader, great teammate. Uh, versatile on the field. Um, I can do a various amount of things. Um, just stuff like that. For the Combine, what do you want to get out of it? I think I just want to show my um, ability to catch the ball. the 35th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select DeAndre Swift, running back, Georgia. We've got some breaking news out of the NFL. The Lions are trading DeAndre Swift to 
the Philadelphia Eagles. That's been confirmed by our lead insider, Jonathan Jones. The news comes just two days after Detroit used the first round pick on Alabama running back Jameer Gibbs. Lions swap seventh round selections in this year's draft with the Eagles and will also receive a fourth round pick in 2025. Again, taking a look at the trade details, Lions having David Montgomery, DeAndre Swift on the roster, then taking a running back in the first round. Swift now on his way out and another Bulldog on his way to Philadelphia. What's going on, y'all? DeAndre Swift here. Excited to be back home. Excited to get the win. What was uh, what was your reaction to the trade? A lot of emotions all at once, but um, I'm excited to be back home. Was it a surprise to you uh, that you ended up getting traded, and what was uh, Detroit's explanation for that? Uh, yes, it was it was a surprise. Uh, there was no really an explanation. Everything kind of went through my agent. Like I said, there's a lot of different emotions going up and down. Um, like I'm, I'm excited to be here, but first and foremost, uh, thank Detroit for everything. Uh, to the city of Detroit. Will forever have a place in my heart. Will love them for the opportunity that they gave me to just go out there and live out my dreams. Um, but like I said, I'm excited for this new chapter. Detroit tried that tough love approach for you last year and during training camp. You know, uh, what was your response to how that went? And do you think that carry over? Do you think it was fair? A fair assumption to think that you weren't tough enough? I, I know who I am. I know what I'm about. Um, I know that I'm as tough as they come. Um, but with hard knocks and everything, kind of kind of how to portray it. I didn't like it, but uh, I can't do nothing about it, but go out there and showcase what I am and who I am and what I'm about. And I know what I can do and who I am. What's your thoughts about coming home to play in Philadelphia? I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy. I'm grateful uh, for the opportunity to be a part of a great organization with tremendous history, um, a team that's connected. I can just by being in the building these couple of days that together uh, love each other. So I'm excited to build a relationship with the guys in the locker room and just be a, a part, a piece of, to the puzzle. The other day, Howie was saying how the organization's known you since you were in high school. Dom's known you. What's your background with the organization? How well did you know those guys back in high school? Um, I was in the facility a couple times when I was young. Um, I went to St. Joe's Prep, so we practiced at the Novacare facility a couple times when we were in state playoffs and things like that. So real familiar with the area, um, with the people. Dom just told me him and a couple coaches came to my games in high school that I didn't know about. So it's kind of cool to hear the memories and things like that. I just wonder about your experience uh, playing running back with a running quarterback, a quarterback that, you know, that can be utilized in the run game. Um, I haven't had too much experience with a quarterback exactly like Jalen Hurst, but I'm in high school. Um, a guy named Marquez um, McCray was like the closest thing to a running quarterback. But um, the things Jalen does in the passing game, run game, it's the way I see and I'm just outside looking at how he commands the offense, his leadership, and everything he brings to the team and organization. I'm grateful to be an opportunity to sit next beside him and, and play. First off, the uh, Georgia players that the Eagles brought in the past two years, how well do you know those guys? And then, and then also, have you spent a lot of time back home during these past three years, or is, is, is this your first time knowing being back home for a while? I played with Nolan, I played with Nicobe, and I played with J.D., um, it, that's just a testament to show the job Kirby and his staff does over there preparing players for life after football and NFL next level. Um, so the Eagles definitely know where to go get their players from. But um, I do come back home a lot, see my family and things like that when I have time. But now that I'm back home, I'm, I'm here. Beating your doggone chest right now. Whatever you got today.